Hello and welcome to another edition of Cooking with Bari. I'm your host Kyle and thank you for joining us as we take a look at three more recipes uh, that are going to help you use Bari olive oil and help make uh, your eating experience that much more pleasurable. As we get towards the end of, this, uh, of the summer season here, uh, we're starting to do our last little bit of grilling as families and so we've come up with three recipes that you can use with your grill or on your grill uh, and, and just some really good tasting stuff. First we're going to start off with our uh, grilled ribeye steaks. Everybody loves ribeye steaks and uh, these are going to be just delicious. We're going to start by putting some oil on there and a couple tablespoons or so will do it. And the steaks are going to be pretty simple. Uh, crush yourself a little bit of fresh salt. Some fresh pepper. Everybody loves garlic, so we'll put a little bit of garlic on there. Okay, a lot of garlic. And we're also going to throw in some fresh thyme. And thyme is just a really nice flavor that uh, I've found works really well with steaks. And uh, these are going to be grilled, so you can throw in the sticks, the whole sticks on there. It'll kind of burn up a little bit. That's okay. I've already gone ahead and I've, I've done the other side, so we're, we're ready to throw these on the grill. We've got our grill nice and hot. You can hear that nice sizzle. And these aren't going to take very long, especially if you like it a little bit more uh, rare or medium rare to, to well done. They go pretty fast. Our second recipe that we're going to do are some roasted vegetables. Now you can do these in the oven or you can do them on the grill. Since we're grilling today, we're going to do these on the grill. Uh, I'm showing you this recipe second, but the, the best thing for you to do is to actually start these first. They take about an hour to, to roast on the grill. Uh, and you can check out our recipe uh, to get the specific times that they need uh, for roasting. You'll have all the instructions there. So what I've done is I've got a mixture of vegetables here. I've got some, uh, some squash, I've got some zucchini, I've got some carrot, I've got some onion, I've got a little garlic. And uh, we're going to use our uh, Bari Fruity Extra Virgin Olive Oil, same thing we used on the meat. And we're going to give that a nice drizzle. Now don't be shy. Um, quarter cup is not going to hurt this stuff, okay? especially since it's going to be roasting in the oven for such a long time or uh, grilling on the grill. So feel free to be liberal with it. Uh, the other thing you want to do is give it some nice, we're going to do some fresh cracked, fresh cracked pepper here. Again, these are going to soak up the flavor. Don't be afraid to give it a lot. Same thing on the salt. I've got some nice sea salt here, freshly ground. It's going to be a lot bolder flavor than your typical uh, seasoned salt, or uh, I'm sorry, not seasoned salt, but your, uh, your regular table salt. Uh, again, since we use some thyme in the meat, we want to tie in the same flavors here. So we're going to use a little bit of thyme. I've already had chops. I've gone ahead and chopped some up ahead of time. Uh, a little fresh garlic. Everybody loves garlic. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to give that a little toss. Some of our asparagus is getting away from us. Okay, pretty simple to do. And then you're either going to move this into a, a pan to roast, or if you'd like to do it on the grill, you're going to use a piece of foil. And all you're going to do, just dump everything in. Then you're going to fold it up like this. Make sure you fold it up nice and tight. Maybe go over it a couple of times just to make sure you get it all. And then roll up the ends, simply. And what you're going to do is you're going to toss this in a part of the grill that's not too terribly hot. Uh, if you're doing it in an oven, you're going to do it for around 350 degrees. On the oven, you, you don't want it too terribly hot. So we're going to go ahead and pop this in, and I think our steaks are about ready to turn. Oh, yeah, those are looking great. Absolutely perfect. Our next recipe is going to be a summer salad. And this is going to sound a little weird to you. It sounded a little bit weird to me the first time I heard of it. Uh, but uh, we're actually going to start off, I'm going to do the watermelon second. We're going to start off with some onions. And we're going to take a little bit of lime juice. And it's about the juice of one lime or a few tablespoons. Okay. And we're going to just give that a nice toss. And we're going to just let that hang out for a couple of minutes. Okay? In the meantime, we're going to take a watermelon. And you're going to use about a quart 
quart and a half of watermelon, three or four big slices if you have a pretty good sized watermelon or maybe even a whole small watermelon. And you're just going to take that, cube it up, uh, see if this works better for this recipe. Now here's where it starts to get a little weird. You're going to take some olives, okay, maybe about a half a cup, sliced. You're going to stick those in there. You take a little bit of cheese. Feta cheese works great, but anything that crumbles is really good. And then you're going to take our uh, onions that have been hanging out for a little while. And you're going to get those in there. And then you're going to take, again, some more of our fruity olive oil. Uh, a few tablespoons will do it. It doesn't take too terrible much. Get that in there. Give it a nice toss. Oh, I almost forgot the mint. Again, <laughs> it sounds weird, but a little bit of mint really brings this all together. Okay. Now, this is the type of salad I think it works best if you mix it and serve it fairly quickly. Um, I know my dad likes it when it sits out for a little bit and the flavors really meld together. So it just kind of depends on, on, on what you like. And uh, like I said, it, it looks a little strange, something you're not used to seeing, but uh, definitely worthwhile. You're really going to enjoy that. So we're going to set that there for now. I think our, our steaks are just about done. In fact, I've got some that have been cooking already for a little while. So I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab one of those. Now I also have some vegetables that I did ahead of time that we're going to serve some of. What I did with the vegetables is about 15 minutes before they were done, I went ahead and tossed in some uh, fresh tomatoes. Ooh, that is hot. And this is what you end up with. Tomatoes are all roasted. The vegetables are well roasted. Carrots are ready to go. Just really good. Really sweet. Everything's nice and perfectly done. We got a bit of that. I'm going to go ahead and set that to the side. Then I'm going to take some of our watermelon salad here with that mint and feta cheese and olives. I don't know about you, but this is a meal I can really sink my teeth into. Speaking of sticking my teeth into it, I happen to have a fork and a knife. Steak, perfectly done. Mmm. Works really well. Just a nice, mild flavor. Our, our watermelon salad has a bold flavor. Our roasted vegetables have a nice, strong flavor because we really put in quite a bit of salt. And the steak just has a nice, really, really good flavor as well. So nothing overpowering, but just a really great meal. And this again shows you just how easy it is to bring together a few simple ingredients with a little bit of good quality olive oil and really turn it into something special. So this is what we're going to be serving this uh, upcoming holiday season at our next barbecue. I hope that you guys will give it a try. Thanks for taking some time and, and joining us and look for more specials and more recipes on our website. Thanks again. I hope to see you next time.